Well, Americans are preparing for more traditional Thanksgiving celebrations this year after many families chose to forego or scale down gatherings in 2020. So the TSA is expecting Sunday after Thanksgiving, as it always is, to be the busiest travel day of the year. An estimated 2.4 million people flying. ABC's Morgan Norwood has some tips. After a slow Thanksgiving for travel last year due to COVID, this year, passengers are coming back in a big way. So it's going to be about twice as busy as it was in 2020, pretty close to where we were in 2019 for Thanksgiving. So if you're one of those taking a trip over Thanksgiving, here's some tips to help you get through it. First, don't wait until the day of your flight to see if your trip is on schedule. Check your flight status online early days ahead of time. You know, very often when these cancellations do happen, they do happen one two or three days in advance, and you'd much rather find out about them from the comfort of your own home than in the airport. If you need a rental car and you haven't booked one yet, do it now. We're expecting rental car prices to be very high over the holiday weekend at around $80 a day. Um, and availability could also be a concern here. So if you haven't booked your rental car, you want to make sure that you have that reserved before you depart for Thanksgiving. If your flight does get canceled or significantly delayed, you're entitled to a cash refund under federal law, but you could also negotiate for a different trip. But if you go into the situation and say, hey, listen, I know I'm entitled to a refund, but instead of this refund, I'd rather be rebooked on this itinerary that I found. Nine times out of 10, the airline agents are going to comply. Finally, if you still want to travel for Thanksgiving, but you haven't booked yet, experts say keep an eye out for some last minute deals to short haul international destinations. That's because there's no demand for international flights for Thanksgiving. If you love your family, but you love a beach and a margarita a little bit more, hey, you might have a good deal waiting for you. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles.